Good morning, everyone. Treasure Troller here from the partially mask-wearing militant state of Michigan, where we have more FBI agents and informants than we do actual conspirators in the plot to kidnap our governor and dictator, Gretchen Whitmer. And that's what we're going to be talking about today, mainly. But first, so we're, we're coming up on the, the flu season, and of course, the uh, we're going through the, the Greek alphabet with the immunity enhancement program. But now would be the time to go out and buy your zinc and vitamin D. Don't wait till everyone else is buying it. So, if you want to do yourself a favor, give yourself a little extra vitamin D because you know it does take time to get into your system. Uh, now would be the time to go out and get it while it still is on the shelves because uh, you never know. Coming up, there'll be a you know there'll be a big run on it because the fall the weather gets colder. You don't make as much less sun, vitamin less vitamin D. And then uh, we get to the fifth letter of the Greek alphabet. And then everyone decides they need to buy zinc and vitamin D. So go on and get it now. I even saw they're having it at Myers. Myers, that's right. Plural possessive. Totally legal in Michigan. We're, they had, had the stuff on sale. So you could get your whole... Uh, winter supply at half the cost not a bad deal so let's get to the main topic today and there's a little bit of a scary feature that I found and it was in one of the articles that was listed on MLive regarding the case of the upcoming uh, one of the upcoming conspirators in the case and his uh, defense attorney defense counsel, I should say, they're requesting additional information from the FBI. Mostly communication between the FBI agents and the informants. And the FBI, now this was two days ago, because another article came out yesterday. So the article two days ago, they were requesting this information, these communications, and the FBI said uh, no. See, because uh, this doesn't fall under discovery, basically Brady material. And uh, we've given you tons and tons of stuff as it is, and some of this stuff that you're requesting falls under informant privilege informant privilege now to me that's a scary thought that not only can they put people in as informants then you don't get to uh, really get any information about how they were conducting business quite possibly because they're informants who knows if they have to take the stand or not, but all the business that they do is just, well, it's just privileged. And you can't have it. Now, hopefully the judge says, well, let me decide if it uh, falls under discovery or not. Yesterday's article in MLI was a bit more clear in that there was some of the communication and what they're asking for is information that the FBI agents were telling these informants to delete. So they're asking for stuff that the FBI, you know, don't talk about this and delete it. So that's the stuff that they're they're wanting. Now I'm not sure how that falls under discovery if you can't see what it is that needs to be discovered. But to me, informant privilege is a pretty scary thought. The uh, 
the uh, the scope of what they could do to people. Uh, I'm, I'm waiting for informant privilege to come up uh, in some of this 1-6 uh, insurrection stuff. I find it hard to believe that all these... Uh, these agents were able to infiltrate this podunk mil militia group that they had nobody, nobody in D.C. that was commingling with some of these groups. I find it hard to believe. Or even informants that were in there. Which really brings into... Uh, a whole bunch of questions like, uh, well, if they were, why did uh, why did they not bring in the National Guard? How did they not know this was going to happen? Um, if they didn't have informants in these groups, how how can they pick on a little group in the you know in Michigan, but not uh, know some of these other groups that were that were going to head down there? And then, of course. You never really know what was talked about because it falls under informant privilege. So it just uh, kind of worries me. And I mean, these uh, three uh, three-letter organizations are pretty scary people, and I. If you haven't read Sidney Powell's book, License to Lie. I suggest you pick it up and read it and just see how uh, what a ragtag bunch of reprobates these guys can actually be. If you thought, if you thought they were bad in Russiagate, yeah. read Sidney Powell's book because some of the same players are involved in that as well. So, a new... Uh, term added to the lexicon, informant privilege. I just got a feeling we're going to see that a little bit more now. Informant privilege. That's a pretty scary thought. So buy your zinc, buy your vitamin D, and uh, be weary of informant privilege. With that, this is Treasure Troller saying aloha and good day.